Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com, and today I'm making comfort food in the form of an easy one-pot chicken and dumplings. Let me show you how to make it. We need to chop some celery, carrots, and onions for this. I started by slicing the celery lengthwise down the middle, and then I diced it down into smaller pieces from there. For the carrots, I cut them down to around quarter inch slices. And I did slice them slightly at a diagonal angle, mostly because I like the way they look this way. For the onion, just cut it in half, then slice it across one way, then rotate it and cut the other way to get the diced pieces. Then just put our diced veggies, which is called a mirepoix, in a bowl and set it aside. Next, I smashed a couple of cloves of garlic and I put that in the bowl as well. Now it's time to trim the chicken thighs. I always take a couple of minutes to trim that fat from the chicken thighs. Once that's done, I seasoned both sides of the chicken thighs with salt and pepper. Now we're going to throw all the veggies and garlic into the pot. We'll add the chicken broth, and I do use unsalted broth so I can control the amount of salt I'm eating, but it's up to you which brand you choose. Next, add the chicken to the pot with some salt and some dried thyme and then just give it a mix. Put the lid on with the heat on high and bring it to a boil, which should take about 10 to 12 minutes. While that's happening, I'm going to cut the canned biscuits I bought, which make perfect steamed dumplings. Then I made a slurry to thicken the soup, which is equal parts flour and water. Just give it a good whisk to get all those lumps out. After my broth started boiling, I pulled all the chicken out, added the slurry, gave everything a good mix, and you want to give it a taste here, and since I did use unsalted broth, I added some salt here as well. Now just chop the chicken into small, bite-sized pieces, and we're going to add that right back into the pot. This is optional, but I added a cup of frozen peas I already had on hand, and I gave it a stir. Next, it's time to start adding our chopped dumplings to the top of the pot. We'll put the lid on, and we're going to let that steam on low to medium heat for about 8 minutes or so, until the dumplings look approximately like this. You want to take a couple of forks and break the dumplings apart, just like you see here. And now it's time to fill a bowl up for yourself and dig in. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I do. And if you like this video, feel free to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to turn the notifications on so you never miss a recipe. As always, you'll find this and all the printable recipes on my website at eatthebite.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.